Good evening, all you amazing people. This is an emergency press conference to address the crazy, wild, insane day that we live in. And I'm going to give one minute here for people to jump on. And uh, we just got back from the river. We had church this morning. We worshiped as a family. We floated the river. But I really... I've been getting blown up with texts and emails and calls and people asking my opinion and thoughts on what's going on. As many of you know, I have said since the very beginning, this year is going to be insane. I've said, buckle up, buttercup. I've said since the beginning of the year, we need to raise up 100,000 intercessors to pray for America because things are going to get crazy. I've said this since the beginning. Tomorrow, by the way, we have a prayer guide being released. This is our... Uh, every single Monday, we send out a prayer guide to our entire prayer list. So if you're not on that list, you can text the word PRAY, again, that's P-R-A-Y, to 20221. Now stay on here because I'm going to share with you my thoughts. But you can text the word PRAY to 20221, and we'll send you the prayer guide, and you can join us as we pray for America. Because in seasons like this, I mean, this is one of the wildest political roller coaster rides that we've ever seen in the history of America. And I'm not short selling this. I mean, this is crazy. We have an assassination attempt uh, on a former president, uh, the leading candidate or the, the, the Republican nominee that happens a week ago. And then today we have the first president in eons to actually say that he's not going to run for reelection and so you look at what's you look at this, and it's like, what the heck is going on? I mean, there's all this speculation: who's going to run? Who's going to replace him? I have my own thoughts, which might go, which I may I go into in a minute. But the first thing I want to do is read this to you, right? This is the most important guiding light through seasons of craziness. This is my son Ezra's Bible. We gave this to him yesterday. Uh, he was so pumped. It was one of his birthday presents. And we as a family are in the middle of reading the Bible, the whole New Testament, this summer. It's a 90-day challenge that we're doing as a family. So we're all in it. And it's been so much fun. And so we've been doing it mostly online on apps. But Ezra loves, like me, he loves old school. He loves Bibles. And so we bought him a brand new one. There's nothing like the smell the feeling of a good Bible. So I want to read this to you quickly, and then I'll give you my thoughts. Uh, Daniel, the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 21 and 22. Now, you guys know how I, I've seen 2222 two, two, two for so many, for the really the last several years. It's ramped up uh, more recently. Um, and I, you know, when God uses, God uses a donkey to talk to people, he can use numbers to speak to people. He just loves to Anything he can do to get our attention. And so I've been praying into a lot of these 2-2 verses, but I feel like this one is really powerful for today. So Daniel chapter 2, verse 21 and 22, it says this. It says, he changes times and seasons. He deposes kings and raises up others. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. Key word. He gives knowledge to the discerning. Don't just listen to the media clickbait out there. Just don't listen to your favorite conservative influencer. Most of them are shooting from the hip. They don't know what the heck they're talking about. Be somebody of discernment. Seek the Lord. Ask him to show you things. This is what we're doing. This is why we're praying every single day. 100,000 people praying in America every single day for our nation. This is why we're going capital to capital because we want to raise up prayer and worship across America. There's nothing we need more right now, right? So it says, he gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. I think uh, he changes times and seasons, deposes kings and raises up others. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. So, he reveals deep and hidden things. This is 2222 and knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. So God is the one like in control. He's not scrambling right now. He's not worried. He's not, oh my gosh, you know, who's next? Is it Kamala? Is it Gavin Newsom? Is it Whitmer? Is it what is going to happen? No one knows. You know, it's like, no, 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 no. We need to take a minute like this when everyone's freaking out, chill out. 
We need to get in the word. We need to remember that God is the one that raises up kings and pulls them down. He is the one that shields assassins' bullets, which we saw a week ago. We clearly know he's writing the story. He's on the throne. And I, I really believe God's looking for a people that in the midst of this shaking and shifting, and, and you know, I'm just watching in the, the Christian community and the conservative community, people are just losing it. Just, ah, it's like, no, 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 just hold on a sec. God's writing the story. He's in control. Let's just be a people of prayer and a people of discernment. Now, you got to understand this to get to the specifics or my thoughts on this situation. Guys, <laughs> President Trump is not running against a candidate. He's running against a system. So you got to understand this. This is this is how it plays out. This is not about Biden. It's not even about Harris. It's about a system that you're running against. And the powers that be in the system wanted Joe Biden to be gone. And he tried to resist it. He tried to resist it. He tried to resist it. And guess what? It didn't work. And this is how powerful this system is, is that it can actually remove a sitting president. Think about that. This system is so strong and so corrupt that it can actually remove a sitting president. I mean, we've known for a long time that Joe Biden has dementia and all these issues. Just now they're admitting it because they can't cover it up anymore. So now there's a whole nother thing at play. They're looking at the polling. They're looking at the response of the assassination, the RNC, all these things that happen. And now they're saying, okay, crap, what are we going to do? And so they're, 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 it's the system, right? It's the system that's pushing against the removal of Biden. And they have a plan and they know what they're doing. Like, this is not like these people in this system, like they're sharp. Like you, you have to understand the things that we're fighting against. All of these powers and principalities, like it is a massive system of corruption. And I don't even need to go into Kamala and all of her stuff. It's insane. I mean, it's crazy, right? And my gut level instinct is it's not going to be her uh, because I don't think she can win against Trump. But they have a plan in place. She's the next one to come down the line. And, you know, we just got to be a people to pray. And we got to understand it's not about any one particular candidate. We're fighting against an entire system that's been in place for a long time. And so when you have an outsider like a Trump and you have, you know, kind of this 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 revolution to to fight against this uh, this entire corrupt establishment. Right. I mean, look at the corruption and the the secret, the head of the Secret Service is probably going to resign tomorrow, definitely should resign tomorrow. Why? Because they denied extra security to Trump, I think, two or three times the last year while they gave Zelensky the highest level of protection. I mean, this this is corrupt. It's insane. Right. And and were we even as Trump said in his speech, he's not supposed to be here. Like, this is what you got to understand. Like, he's not supposed to be here. Like, the whole plan was that he would be taken out. But yet here we are. But God, right? Who's writing the story? It says in the book of Daniel, who's writing the story here? It's not the system. The system is not writing the story. God is writing the story, right? So this is my encouragement to you guys. Maybe I'll go more into this later. Um, Just hang on, man. Hang on. Keep your joy. Keep worshiping. Let's continue to bring worship across America. Worship with your family. Worship in your home. You know, praise is our prescription for breakthrough, right? So this is definitely some sinister inside situation stuff going on here. The establishment is reeling. They don't know what to do. Their plan to to take Trump out didn't work. So now this is the next thing to come. Isn't this interesting? This comes a week later. Isn't this interesting now after he survived this assassination attempt? Now we're looking at an entirely different setup for the election. And he gives wisdom to the discerning. So be a person of wisdom. Be a person of discernment. Don't just chomp at the first thing that's spoken online or the mainstream media. Tune into the heart of God. Say, Lord, what is my position? You're a watchman on the wall. Every single one of you out there, come on, look at me. You're a watchman on the wall. You're important. Your prayers are powerful. 
And if there's anything the enemy wants to do, he wants to get you to not be a person of prayer and a person of faith. He wants you to feel overwhelmed. He wants you to feel like it's all out of control. And listen, we're not those people, right? We're not of those, it says in Hebrews, that shrink back and are destroyed. We're of those that believe and are saved. And this is why I said since the beginning of the year, these going capital to capital and worshiping at these governmental epicenters is just going to increase, right? It's just going to, like the fire and the passion and the urgency for God to move is just going to increase. And so we're going to be in West, uh, Wyoming this weekend, Montana, uh, North Dakota. Then we're going to be in Minnesota, which I can't wait to come to Minnesota. My wife was born in that state. I can't wait to see God lift it up. Ohio, Michigan. All of those are battleground states. And then, of course, we're finishing off October 26th on the National Mall in D.C. Circle that date on your calendar right now, October 26th. This is the last major event happening on the National Mall in D.C. is our prayer and worship gathering. It's the culmination of 50 states. And the only reason I'm pushing that is I feel like this is a divine setup for God to show up and to show off. So, listen. It is crazy. It is a season of, of turbulence. I've told you guys since the beginning, buckle up, buttercup. This is not the end of it. I believe this is just the ramp up. We're seeing the unraveling of the plan of the enemy, and God's just looking for people to believe and stand up in faith. So listen, I love you guys. Keep your joy. Keep your hope. I'm going to go take my wife out to dinner because she's amazing, and we never get time like this away. And uh, revival or bust, just like the hat says, revival or bust. This is our best hope for America. You know, don't worry about Kamala. Don't worry about Newsom. Don't worry about all that. Don't worry about, don't just spend your time spinning your wheels, hypothesizing, you know, uh, fear. You know, don't do that. Don't waste your time doing that. Spend your time in worship. Spend your time in prayer. And join our prayer list if you haven't. We're going to send it off tomorrow morning. Text uh, pray. P-R-A-Y to 20221. Remember the book of Daniel. Remember that God's the one that establishes kings. And remember, he's on the throne. He's in control. And it's literally not cliche. He's writing a good story. And we're a part of it. So love you guys. You are the watchman on the wall. Share this video. And yes, for those of you in Canada, I see some of you in Canada. We're coming your way in September. It's going to be a lot of fun. Your nation needs Jesus. And we're going to come with all of our heart and all of our song and all of our worship, and we can't wait. Love you guys. Revival or bust. You can grab this on our website. This is an amazing hat, one of my favorite hats. I don't know if we have any left, but if we do, grab them, seanfoyt.com. Stay tuned. This concludes the urgent press conference. God's on the throne. Love you guys.